hello everyone so today i'm gonna continue in this slide in door tutorial so actually we implemented open door part uh, in the previous episode and today uh, we are going to implement the closing door part so actually it's very simple but uh, for the completion i'm gonna do that part anyway so right let's see how to do that and this episode is sponsored by this generous patron thank you very much for your support right so at the moment we can just go here and open the doors so or we can open a single door or all the doors like this uh, but we haven't implemented a way to close the doors so now let's see how to do that all right so first I'll open the sliding door blueprint right so just like this we have the open door macro mm. so for that uh, first uh, let's add a new widget This widget shows open master door for E and open all doors F. So I'll just duplicate this door close and here I'll only include close door E. So it will fully close the door the master door and all the other parts right and then mm -mm. Uh, oh wait this part is wrong I shouldn't set it as closed open when I end overlap with this box so this is the trigger box where I use to enable uh, the inputs uh, if the player is inside that uh, I enable the input so that I can press keys to open or close the door okay so now I'll remove this part and do it like this so after opening the door I'll set the variable to open so I'll rename this widget widget uh, open and I'll add another widget widget close there as the widget I'll add widget door close and after I set it to open and after I make this widget open uh, after hiding this widget open oh wait maybe there is a simpler way to do this let me remove this let's have a separate key to close the door so because sometimes we can open only the master door and leave it open and then also we should be able to close the door so when we close the door no matter what it should be fully closed there is no half closed doors so f d e close door let's set we have e we have f let's add C right and when you press C event
to get C event key. All right, key event. C. Okay, when you get that, uh, just like we do this for closing, opening, uh, let's duplicate the same macro and name as close to right now all we have to do is change this order to the rotation of the door flap first and then move it to the place so rotation should be set to when the door is closed the rotation is zero so zero right now here get the closed door here we have to first close the last door so that means this one uh, we should move it to y400 y200 so to this uh, y location So as the component, get the third component. And move it to the original location, which is 0, 400, 0. And then the other door flap. it should be 200 and then the first one it should be removed as the zero because there is no offset here a local offset here right and then we should set close now set open to false so yeah actually we don't need this because it shows the close action as well now let's see if I press F, it opens the door. And if I press C, oh, that's wrong. Alright, this is the issue. We should not move it yet in here. So we should leave as the relative, uh, relative location as the current relative location. So it should be zero anyway, but I'll connect it like this. Now let's see. Open. 
right now when I press C it closes like this all right and oh, one more thing when I leave the overlap box it should hide the widget this widget scroll it open and close Let's open all the doors. Right, let's close. All right, so that's the simple tutorial I wanted to cover up uh, because as I got a request show in how to show how to close these doors as well. all right so thanks for watching uh, the project files of this project will be available for download through the patreon page link would be in the description below and if you like this about my work you can get the membership of the patreon club so see you in another episode goodbye